Well, my friends, settle in today. We're doing the ultimate shark rumble. So I'm going to share my screen. We know these books can be a little bit long. So, but we need to know who would win in the ultimate shark rumble. So let's take a look. What would happen if 16 sharks were invited to a contest? What if there was a bracketed fight? Who would win? If a shark loses a round, it's out of the competition. The basking shark is a filter feeder. It swims with its mouth open near the surface of the ocean. Don't be afraid, it has teeny tiny teeth. The bull shark is a man-eating shark. It moves in shallow water where some people swim. It also swims up rivers and sometimes into lakes. The bull shark does attack people, beware. No big teeth, only a filter feeder jaw. The basking shark doesn't stand a chance. The bull shark's strong jaw and sharp teeth bite chunks out of the basking shark. Goodbye, basking shark. Goodness, bull shark wins. The short fin mako shark is the fastest shark in the ocean. It can swim up to 45 miles per hour. Makos are often called the cheetahs of the sea or the falcons of the ocean. It's nice to be able to outswim your enemies. It says mako shark versus the saw shark. It says the saw shark has teeth along its nose. It's an easy shark to identify. It uses its nose to slash at a school of fish. How would you like to have teeth on your nose? And it says the word mako means shark in the Maori language. The saw shark is scary looking, but it is no match for a mako. The lightning fast mako swims right at the saw shark and bites its tail off. The saw shark is wounded and cannot swim. Mako shark wins. Those are scary sharks, aren't they? Mammals have lungs, fish have gills. Almost all sharks have five gill slits on each side of their heads. True to its name, the seven-gilled shark has seven gills. It says, fact, sharks do not have bones. Their skeletons are made of cartilage, the same kind of material in your nose. Seven-gilled shark versus hammerhead shark. Its head doesn't look like a hammer to me. It looks more like an airplane wing. When people see that shape, they know exactly what kind of shark it is. And it says, the hammerhead fact, its eyes are positioned to have excellent vision. All right. The hammerhead has excellent vision and can see backwards. It's watching the seven-gilled shark's every move. When the seven-gilled shark makes a wrong turn, the big hammerhead attacks. One bite, two bites, goodbye seven-gilled shark. Hammerhead wins. The deep water goblin shark has a scary looking double face. This shark species has been on Earth for more than 100 million years. Its ancestors probably had fights with plesiosaurs and dinosaurs. And it says, rare fact, few goblin sharks have ever been caught. All right, so it says goblin shark is versus the tiger shark. Meet the tiger shark. It has the perfect name. Surfers and swimmers beware. The tiger shark is known for attacking humans. It has teeth capable of biting tough sea turtle shells. Wow, that's really tough teeth. The uh, species fact, a sand tiger shark is a different species than a tiger shark. All right, who's gonna win this one? This fight is a matchup made between an ancient ugly shark and a sleek, beautifully designed fighting machine. The tiger shark has a larger tail and bigger fins and can swim faster and turn better than the goblin shark. The fight does not take long. Tiger shark wins. And it says spirit facts. Some native Hawaiians believe that tiger sharks are the spirits of their ancestors. The, oh, this one is great white shark versus lemon shark. The great white shark is one of the most famous sharks in the world. It has a huge strong jaw with triangle shaped serrated teeth. It gets blamed for the most attacks on humans around the world. This shark has a light yellow color. It's a lemon shark. Wow, it is different. It has two dorsal fins. And it says color fact, not all sharks are gray. And it says fin facts. Sharks have pectoral fins, dorsal fins, pelvic fins, anal fins, and caudal fins. They have a lot of fins. 
The lemon shark puts up a good fight, but the great white shark is too big, too strong, and too ferocious for the lemon shark. The great white shark swims right at the lemon shark and uses its powerful jaw to bite the lemon shark. The big bite is fatal. The great white shark wins. This one is going to be whale shark versus black tip shark. The whale shark is the largest and longest fish in the ocean. It grows up to 40 feet long and weighs up to 20 tons. It has tiny teeth and a filter feeder. The whale shark swims with its huge mouth open. It strains or catches small sea creatures such as krill and copepods. copepods. Strange but true, the biggest fish eats the tiniest creatures. And it says, fact, the whale shark is not a whale. Like all sharks, it is a fish. It says, mouth fact, the whale shark's mouth is up to five feet wide. It looks like a giant vacuum cleaner. It says, the black tip shark got its name from the black tip on its dorsal fin. Black tip sharks are aggressive. They move towards human swimmers. It's just not fair, an aggressive shark against a filter feeder. The black tip shark is not intimidated by the size of the whale shark. It swims and bites at the whale shark, bites, bites, and more bites. The black tip shark wounds the bigger whale shark. The whale shark loses too much blood. It slowly sinks. It'll be a giant meal for hundreds of other fish. Wow, black tip, black tip shark wins. I didn't expect that one. It says a whale shark is the largest vertebrae ma animal on earth that is not a mammal. And it says vertebrae means an animal with a spine, a backbone. It says definition, a whale fall is when a whale dies and sinks to the deep bottom of the ocean. There its skeleton becomes a home and dinner for other sea creatures. The thresher shark has a long tail. Its tail is more than half the length of its body. The tail allows it to swim, turn, and stop faster. It hunts using its tail to whip at schools of fish. And this time it's the thresher shark versus the leopard shark. It says the leopard shark is a small shark that has leopard-like spots. It grows to only about four feet long. It says fact, common thresher sharks are also called fox sharks. Small fact, the dwarf lantern shark is the smallest shark in the ocean. It's only about eight inches long. And it says coolest name, the tiny cookie cutter shark cuts little cookie shaped chunks out of other fish, dolphins, and whales. Okay. All right, so let's see who's going to win, do you think? The thresher shark or the leopard shark? The thresher shark circles the leopard shark to check it out. There is a huge size difference between this pair. The thresher shark uses its big tail to whip and stun the leopard shark. Its unusual tail is like a secret weapon. Thresher shark wins. This time it's the megamouth versus the Greenland shark. The megamouth is a big long shark with a wide mouth. This rare deep water shark was discovered in 1976. Don't be scared. Big mouth, big lips, no big deal. This shark is also a filter feeder. The Greenland sharks are also called gurry sharks or gray sharks. They live the longest of any shark between 300 and 500 years. It's a long time. That's a lot of birthday parties. The Greenland shark belongs to a shark species that has been on earth more than 100 million years. It says rare fact, few people have ever seen a living megamouth shark. No confusion, don't mix up the megamouth with the megalodon, the largest shark that ever lived. The prehistoric megalodon is extinct. It says tricky name, guri are the parts left over after you fillet or debone a fish. Guri is often used for crab and lobster bait. All right, so who's gonna win with this one, the megamouth or the Greenland shark? The megamouth usually eats tiny fish and krill. It wouldn't know how to attack the Greenland shark. The Greenland shark swims towards the megamouth. The hungry Greenland shark attacks the megamouth. The megamouth has lots of teeth, but they're small and useless in a fight like this. The Greenland shark chows, chews up the megamouth. Greenland shark wins. We're at the end of the first round. Only eight sharks are left in the competition. It says bump fact. Some sharks bump first to try to figure out what a creature or object is made of. That's pretty smart. It says, fact, Greenland sharks have been found swimming one mile below the Earth's surface. Oof, sorry, below the ocean's surface. It's quite a ways down. All right, so who is next? The bull shark 
fought a filter feeder to go into round two. Now it faces speed and sharp teeth. This is a challenge. Who will win? Who will get into the shark final four? So this one is bull shark versus mako shark. The mako is not so fast, is so fast that the bull shark has trouble finding it. The bull shark has trouble chasing its opponent. It says attack fact. Some sharks attack from below, other sharks attack from above. Speed is a great weapon, but eventually the mako has to confront the bull shark. The bull shark is too strong and too nasty for the mako. The bull shark overpowers the mako. The bull shark has a stronger jaw. Bull shark wins. This one is the hammerhead shark versus the tiger shark. Some people thought the hammerhead might end up in the championship match against the tiger shark, but they must meet in the second round. Pilot fish, it says, get protection and leftover food by following sharks as they swim. The hammerhead has a smaller mouth than the tiger shark. The tiger shark glides to the side and bites off one of the hammerhead's eyes. The hammerhead is in trouble. The tiger shark then bites it in the back. Tiger shark wins. Wow, that was really quick, wasn't it? All right, this one is great white shark versus black tip shark. Hmm, who do we think is going to win this one? I think it's going to be the great white shark. It's pretty ferocious. Did the great white shark eat every other shark in this book? Too bad the extinct megalodon isn't around to swallow the great white shark with one bite. The great white shark starts swimming towards the black tip shark. The black tip shark sees the great white shark and realizes this is a serious contest. There is no place to hide. And it says, tail fact, sea mammals have horizontal tails. Almost all sharks have vertical tails. It says black tip sharks are often found in large packs or groups. The great white shark attacks. It hides its eyes as it opens its huge jaw and wounds the black tip shark. The aggressive black tip, black tip shark wants to escape, but it's too late. It becomes lunch. Great white shark wins, just like we thought, huh? The thresher shark with its fancy tail and tricky turns tries to intimidate the Greenland shark. Its strategy does not work. The Greenland shark is bigger and not scared. It's ready to show off its strong jaw. And it says, dental fact, a shark loses thousands of teeth during its lifetime. It grows new ones to replace them. Humans only have 32 adult teeth. Well, let's see who wins with the thresher shark versus the Greenland shark. When the thresher shark swims near, the Greenland shark bites a chunk out of the thresher shark. The thresher shark is overcome by the Greenland shark's strength. Don't mess with an old pro. Greenland shark wins. That's it. The shark final four is set. Bull shark, tiger shark, great white shark, and Greenland shark. All the filter feeders are gone. All right, who do you think is going to win in the final battle? There are only four competitors left. Should we call it round three, fight one, or the semifinals? Oh, right, it's the shark final four. All right, so the first one is bull shark versus tiger shark. This is a fight of almost equals. Both are ferocious sharks. Each is considered a man eater. The bull shark and tiger shark are often in the news. The bull shark approaches the tiger shark. The tiger shark goes after the bull shark. The tiger shark is longer and heavier. The bull shark is broader. This is a serious fight. Someone is going to get hurt. The tiger shark overpowers the bull shark. Crunch. The bull shark slowly sinks. The tiger shark wins. All right, this one is the great white shark versus the Greenland shark. The great white shark waits for the Greenland shark to swim towards the surface. They're about the same size. The great white shark is a faster swimmer. Its teeth are bigger and sharper. The Greenland shark is not as agile or able to move as quickly as the great white. The great white shark is more intelligent. What is the great white's strategy? It says movie, shark, movie fact. The great white shark starred in four famous movies, Jaws, Jaws 2, Jaws 3D, and Jaws the Revenge. At full speed, the great white shark attacks from below, crunch. It rips the soft underbelly of the Greenland shark. The great white shark knew it did not want its first bite to be against the Greenland shark's tougher topside. Goodbye, Greenland shark. Great white shark wins. We should have known the movie star great white shark would make it to the finals. All right, this is the championship match. Tiger shark versus great white shark. Who do you think is going to win? I think it's going to be the great white. 
I don't know, but he seems pretty ferocious. All right, two ferocious sharks battle back and forth. The tiger shark versus the great white shark. A blunt head against a pointy head. Eyes on the side versus eyes up front. A square jaw confronts an oval jaw. The great white shark tries to attack from below. The tiger shark stays close to the bottom. As the great white swims by, the tiger shark, with its longer tail, makes a quick turn and bites into the great white. The great white shark is bleeding. The tiger shark is skinnier than the great, the wide great white. In most fights, a great white shark would win. But today is different. In this battle, the tiger shark is a better warrior. Tiger shark wins. This is one way the competition might have ended. Write your own ending or think of a new version of an ultimate rumble book. Well, so it wasn't the great white shark that ended in that story, was it? No. So I would have thought it would be. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story, my friends. It is um, just a story, remember. It's just a way that things could happen if those sharks all fought each other. But do you think that really happens in the ocean? Hmm. I don't think they all see each other in one spot in the ocean, do they? All right. Well, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you have fun. And maybe you can think of some animals and think about who's the fastest or who's the strongest or who can climb the best. I bet you could think of lots of animals like that. All right. Have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.